Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. This is your How To Wednesday. Today we're going to connect 6 volt batteries in series parallel. Our goal is to take 4 6 volt batteries and to make it 12 volts for a system. By doing a series parallel connection, we're going to achieve uh, 440 amp hours by taking a Crown 6 volt CR220. These are Deep Cycle 6 volt batteries. People call them golf cart batteries. I really enjoy the Crown. It's made in the United States, actually in Fremont, Ohio. They're in the company's been around since 19 in the 1920s. Old, old company. Their quality rivals any battery. I put these up against any battery I know. I think their uh, longevity is superior. And they have a really nice feature on top. They have a twin terminal. If you can see, they have the stud and the auto post combination here, which sometimes is really nice. So we're going to put these together in series parallel and because I don't have any kind of load drawn across the batteries, I'm not in any danger of getting hurt or, or shocked unless I cross circuit, short circuit the battery, which I would never do. I'm going to use 2 watt gauge jump uh, jumper cables and we do make these here at the shop. I'm going to put the first bank, we'll call it the bank 1 and then bank 2 I guess, uh, put these together in series. So I'm going to connect the negative to the positive and I would normally take a hex nut stainless steel hex nut with a split washer and I would secure that down okay I would definitely before I move on to the next step you want to connect those tight you never want to let a stainless steel washer get between the lug and the terminal I've seen that before and it interrupts the charging it's a real pain in the butt connect the first one in series positive negative to positive connect the second battery negative to positive I prefer I just use black jumper cables. It keeps me, uh, kind of keeps me organized. The next one I go negative to positive as well. So now I've got 12 volts, and now I've got 12 volts here. If you take a multimeter and you checked at the at the at the at the lug at the terminal, you would see 12.6, 12.7 volts. Now I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna parallel the two batteries. I'm gonna use a red 2 watt cable. I'm gonna connect the positive of battery number one or bank number one to the positive of bank number two. Then again, I would secure that nice and tight with a hex nut. I don't use wing nuts. I think they're just a pain in the butt. They get in the way. They never get tight enough. I, I like hex nuts. Then my, my second process of paralleling the two batteries, I've got a black 2 watt cable. I'm going to connect this from the negative to the negative of the other battery and then tighten it down and now if I took a multimeter and I measured the positive and I measured the last negative over here I would see 12.6 volts uh, verifying that I've achieved a parallel uh, series parallel connection and I have an output of 12 volts now my last thing I'm going to talk about is charging so now you effectively have two banks of batteries in parallel and we want to charge both batteries it's so critical that you would connect the solar charger or the onboard charger to the first positive over here and to the last negative over here where you have 12 volts. It's so important. Now I'm starting the charge and I'm finishing the charge over here, pushing the charge current through all four batteries. That's my tip today. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can reach us at 619-448-5323 or 619battery.com. Uh, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.